How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Prime Energon and today we're going to be taking a look at the Studio Series 86 Blaster and Eject. Okay, and we're also going to be comparing this version to the old Legacy version as well. And we're just going to mainly be comparing them and briefly going over this version just because it's pretty much the same version. And uh, you all already know this mold. I did a video on this guy not too long ago sort of revisiting him and i just wanted to go over the differences really quick on um, both of them and what they changed between this version and the new version so first and foremost taking a look at the box right here you got studio series 86 transformers from transformers the movie definitely love this lineup and i wasn't going to pick this up but i am a sucker for this line i try to collect anything i can from the 86 line just because it holds a special place in my heart. So even though I got this guy, I still got this guy. So here is the front. He is a Voyager class. Some nice artwork right here of him and Eject. Going on over the back, transforms in 20 steps and Eject is eight steps. And here's some more artwork on the back side. Studio Series 86, Transformers, the movie, bottom and stuff. So taking a look at Blaster right here, very nicely done. I do like this paint job better than the older guy, but we're gonna go on over that really quick. So briefly going on over this guy right here. So very nice head scope when it comes down to this. It's white, face is going to be white as well. And taking a look at the back, completely filled in. Very, very nice and the chest is gonna be fully painted right here with this plastic insert now so it looks more like an actual tape deck and taking a look at the actual Autobot symbol and the yellow as you can see we'll go over the differences in a little while as well and you guys pretty much already know this mold and know this figure so we're not gonna harp too much on that and taking a look at the legs very nicely done with a little bit of a lighter gray on there and then the gray down here Again, nicely done. The gray feet cast in the gray plastic, so that is different right there. Hands are different as well. A little bit more of a darker gray. Going on over to the back, pretty much everything is going to be the same. Same old legs, same old backpack, and the actual blaster. Instead of cast out of black plastic, it is out of the same gray plastic that you got on the actual figure itself. So yeah, very nice articulation. Y'all know what articulation head can look up that much, down that much, can do a little bit of side to side, go all the way around. Arms can go all the way out, go all the way around. You get a upper rotation and bicep curl at a little, little over 90 degrees. You also get this stupid thing for the wrist, which I hate. This one is very, very loose. You can see very very loose for this one and uh yeah waist rotation you get a waist rotation legs can kick front that far move the butt flap that far and he can do the splits you got ankle tiltage and toes can go up if you want them to go up for that you get upper thigh rotation and 90 degree bend at the knee so yeah, very nice. We all know this figure. We all love it. It's just an updated paint job for this guy. So let's go ahead and take out Eject and we'll go over him in just a little bit. So as far as that goes, we'll put the Ejects aside and we'll compare, shall we? So let's start off with the blasters on both of these. So here we got old blaster and new blaster. Huh. Blaster, blaster. Get it, get it. So yeah, the new one is going to be out of this gray. The old one was out of the black and they are pretty much the same when it comes down to the softness of them. Um, pretty nice right there. That is the differences between the two. Exact same mold, just done out of a different plastic. Now going on over both of these guys, you can see the differences in the head sculpts. You got silver over here for the face and the helmet. You got white for the face and the helmet on the new guy. 
Going on over to the chest, Autobot symbol on the old guy is going to be with an outline of white, while over here is just red with the yellow shining through. And going on over to the chest, and as you can see, one of the reasons why I did get the new one is because the yellowing on my old figure. And as you can see, the hinges for the chest over here are yellow. Over here, they are left red, or painted red as I might say. No, they are left red. The whole piece is cast out of red plastic and just painted yellow. So they did not paint the hinges. I'm taking a look at the inside right there. You guys can see that. Blue over here, clear over here. And that is that going on over to the crotch. Exact same crotch. And going on over to the legs. Exact same right here for the paint, as you can see. Maybe a little bit more glossier over here on the new version than the old version. And going on over to the legs, you get a darker plastic gray, while over here you get the black. Same thing goes for the arms and the hands. You get a darker gray, you get a black over here. And the red on the newer version is a bit more vibrant. Uh, not as dark on the new one. Going on over to the shoulders right here, completely red, while over here they did splash a little bit of black in there. And going on over to the legs, again, different color in the plastic. When it comes down to that, you get more of a, I want to say, a, like, a, I can't tell. You get a little bit more of a different color in the gray for the legs. And going on over to the speakers, you get black speakers over here, dark gray over here. And they did paint the actual red in the bottom of the feet, which is completely accurate to the cartoon. Well, if you're on the old version, they did not have those pieces painted. You can see that right in there. And going on over to the feet again, gray plastic, black plastic. And the handles are going to be completely black over here on the old. Well, in the new, they are two-tone with the lighter gray and this darker gray plastic. Going on over to the butt and the back, completely the same sculpting when it comes down to that. Going on over to the butt flap, you get more gray that we're going to go ahead and see in alt mode over here for the buttons. While over here, it's just all red with the black buttons. And going over to the bottom, again, black knobs and buttons. While over here, we got red and one gray. Taking a look at the bottom, as you can see, more of that yellowing on my old version. So yeah, that is Blaster. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Eject, and then we'll briefly go over Transformation and compare the two. So here we got Eject. We got the old version, and we got the new version. Again, with that yellowing plastic on the old version. I definitely prefer the new one with this nice blue and white. It looks very nice uh, compared to this clear plastic they used. And looking on over to the back, you see Ejax's face right there. All right, so here is the differences between the two Ejax. You get a white face, white head over here for his mouth guard and his head. While over here, done out of that gray plastic with a orange mouth guard. You still get that gold on both of them. Although over here, it looks a little bit more worn out, more goldy, mustardy. Roll over here has more of a yellowish look to it. And then taking a look at the waist. Very nicely detailed. Taking a look at the legs again. With this nice blue. And the arms. So yeah, very nicely done. Definitely like this new Eject. Hopefully we get some more cassettes for good old blaster. So yeah, there we go. For Eject. Now let's check out the alt modes for this guy. Right about now. All right, so now here we got the alt modes for both of these blasters right here. And let's take a difference. Let's take a look at the difference here. So we got old on this side and we got new over here. And the new is more cartoon accurate to the actual cartoon and the movie. And I think that I like this version more than this one. And let's take a look at the differences here. So as you can see right here, we get more of the gray followed in at the bottom right here into the actual red over here while over here which is all just red with black knobs and this black striping right here there's black lines 
we got two black knobs on the old one and then the little knobs are painted black as well along with all these buttons while over here we just have this one knob gray the other one is going to be red and all the other knobs down here are going to be gray as well and you can see the little buttons right here the arrow for forward and back red roll over here they're not painted at all little speakers up top from going from a darker black to a darker gray over here and down here these are painted while over here they are not painted at the bottom speakers so there's a look at that of course the chest piece is going to be exactly the same as well taking a look at the top handle you get this gray paint on the sides a little bit lighter gray with the darker gray plastic in the middle see how that looks and then over here is just all one black piece of plastic you can see the yellowing on the handle as well and here it is at the bottom completely the same you can see taking a look at the back of course going to be the same as well just the differences in the gray as far as the color goes you get more of a gray gray over here while over here you get more of a off gray on the newer version take a look at the side speakers again you get darker gray on the newer version on the older version you get that black and the feet actually blend in more on this newer version than they do on the older version they don't stick out like a sore thumb over here with that black on the side for the actual feet so yeah i prefer new one now should you get the new one when you have the old one probably not if you're gonna spend your money i would say get something else but if you're just a collector and you want the 86 uh, series then go definitely go for the new one if you don't have the old legacy version or the kingdom version then definitely go with this one blaster was always one of my favorites and i really do like this figure a lot it's just like i said mine really yellowing when it comes down to this front button and uh, the handles over here very very yellow on this guy so i thought it was time to get an upgrade that is actually looking better over here and of course you got your gun storage on the back looks like an antenna so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this comparison and review of transformer studio series 86 blaster and eject from transformers the movie hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next time here on prime energon peace